Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have a, another glitter haul for you guys. So the glitter that I'm showing you guys today is from RCM Bling. I'm gonna leave their info right here so you guys can go follow them on Instagram and place your orders. You guys, excuse my eyes, they're a little irritated right now. Um, I haven't had extensions for a long time, so I'm still getting used to them. Um, anyway, I placed this order from RCM Bling and their glitters are so, so, so pretty. So I wanted to show you guys the glitters that I got and I also ordered some flowers. And the flowers are also really gorgeous. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I have been doing a lot of work with flowers recently. And I wanted to show you guys how I and how I encapsulate the flowers. So if you guys order some from RCM Bling, you guys will know how to use the flowers. So if you guys are interested in seeing this haul and this tutorial, stay tuned and let's see what we got. Alright you guys, so the glitter came in this cute little package. Um, I took this out of the envelope obviously. Uh, I wanted to see what was inside the bag and I already used some of the flowers but I haven't used the glitters so let's open this up and see what we got so immediately I'm already I, I already love all the glitters let me take this off so you guys can see the glitters better all right guys so here is where Okay, I'm letting that focus. All right, so this is where I got all of this stuff from, RCM Nail Bling. And like I said, I'll be leaving all the info down below in the description box so you can see for yourself and you can place your orders if you want. So these are some fancy point backs that she sent. And these are really, really, really pretty and they would look really good on any addition that you would like to add to your nails. This gives me like a rose gold vibe. It's really, really pretty. I can't wait to use this. Um, this is Mix 235. If you guys want this, you can DM her on Instagram and place your orders. This is really pretty. I can't wait to use this. This here is going to be so fun for summer. I have been really digging the yellow colors for summer and this is like an iridescent kind of glitter it has orange and like a little bit of pink and yellow this is just absolutely gorgeous this is a must have for the summer so this is mix 237 so you guys go place your order like right now because this is gorgeous this gives me it, it's kind of silver, but it has a hint of gold to it, I want to say. And it's hollow, so anything hollow is beautiful. I love hollow glitter. So this is Mix 110. So if you guys are interested, go check it out on her website. This here is super gorgeous it's a little different it's purple and it's holographic like I said anything hollow is beautiful anything iridescent is beautiful anything glitter is beautiful you can never have too much glitter so this is mix number 86 this here is a fine gold glitter and it's absolutely gorgeous it is gold and it has a hint of hollow in it I'm gonna have to make another video and swatch these out for you guys this is number 209 this gives me mermaid vibes definitely mermaid vibes it has blue like aqua color um, it has purple this is really, really pretty. This is like super cute with like a mermaid theme now. This is 
this is really stunning this is number 232 this glitter here is sort of a copper color and it's really pretty this would look pretty with a nude or um, possibly a white and it's also hollow you're killing me with these glitters they're so so pretty this one I have to say is one of my favorites so you got some pink going on some purple it has the black and it has iridescent dots and I love dot glitters. These are so, so, so pretty. I can't wait to use these. Um, it's prom season, so you never know what you'll be creating. Prom season is so fun. So this is mix 216. I'm gonna give you guys a close up because this is just so gorgeous. This glitter here is another fine glitter. It looks like a navy blue um a royal blue navy blue and it's hollow it's so pretty this is actually i'm probably gonna do a set using this today so you guys stay tuned this iridescent glitter here is so pretty i am in love with this i'm probably gonna use this now for the encapsulating tutorial that I'm gonna do with the flowers because this, this would be a really pretty background so this is mix 202 and this would look so pretty like with white actually any color iridescent goes good with any color okay, this is another glitter that I really like it has blue it has like a light blue navy blue it has gold going on this is also really pretty. This is mix 102. This is another fine glitter and it's a green hollow. This is going to be really pretty for summer. It has some iridescence to it now that I look at it closely. This will be really, really pretty. I know you guys hear Ryan in the background. My son is upstairs watching Ryan's toy review. So if you guys have kids, you'll understand me. <laughs> So this is mix number 95. This here gives me life. This is a purple fine hollow glitter. This is also very, very pretty. You could use this in the background for chunky glitter or by itself. This is really pretty. This is number 93. And last but not least for the glitters, we have mix 251. And this is a pink glitter it has some hollow silver hollow glitter in it this is also really pretty this look any set pop out this can make any set pop out especially if they're pink this is gonna be so pretty I'm gonna have to use this on my friend Trina so Trina if you're watching this we're using this next set so I got two type of flowers and this one I haven't used yet but they're really 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 pretty So these are called Italian flowers. Like I said, I haven't used these, but I will do a tutorial on how to encapsulate these on your nails. Aren't they gorgeous? The colors are very vibrant and just so pretty, the flowers. I think these are real flowers. And these here are my favorites that I, I've been using these almost every set. Per the client's request, I have to add. So we have these here, and these are original flowers. But they're so pretty, they, they're like multicolored. Like you see this yellow one goes into green, this neutral color one goes into blue. You guys, this, these are just like super pretty. This, I, don't, I don't even know how to explain how to describe that one, but that's just gorgeous. And the colors are so pretty on all of these. This purple one, so pretty. So I'm going to do a tutorial on how I encapsulate these and how to mix them with a glitter. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Let me bring out Amanda. 
All right, guys, so we have Amanda, and I use this um, putty that I got at Walmart. It was like $2, and I just stick this in there to make the nail tip stay. So I'm just grabbing my nail tip and pushing that in there and you can see that it's not coming off. Okay. So with any nail, I'm going to go ahead and cut the tip. Okay, so once we have our nail ready for prep, we are going to add our nail tip. I'm using these tips that I got at my local supply store. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this glitter into this little container so it'll be easier for me to grab with my acrylic and it'll be easy for me to store it so I'm just gonna pour this in here you guys this is really 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 pretty I don't think you guys can see how gorgeous this glitter is. So I'm going to go ahead and take the sticker off the back so that I know what glitter it is for future reference if I want to order this again. I know which number sorry you didn't see any of that so I know which number it is I just took the sticker off the bag and put this on the bottom of the container so I know what glitter it is you guys this is so pretty I'm gonna go ahead and file I mean cut the tip off and I'm going to use my sanding bit to file this nail and this is a different way or a different method than clipping the nail tip, I find this a little easier when I'm doing tutorials or when I'm doing stiletto nails. This is really easy for me to do. So you simply file the edge off. And you're just basically shaving it into the shape that you want. Okay, so we got our coffin nail. We are going to file any of that excess dust off. Okay, so now would be the time that I would normally um, add my dehydrator and my primer. But since I'm not working on an actual client, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and skip that step. So for the nail bed, I'm going to be using Mia Secret Cover Paint. This is a really good cover paint to use. Um, this is one of my favorites and one of the most 
one of the, the powders that I use the most. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna apply a thin layer and I'm gonna grab a, a medium sized bead and I'm just gonna bring it up about halfway up the nail bed. I'm just gonna blend it into the tip. Just blending that. Now I'm using the belly of my brush right here just to move it into place. I'm still blending. So we're doing a really thin layer because we're still gonna go over this and encapsulate it with clear acrylic. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab Mix 202 and I'm going to pick up a small bead of clear acrylic, a very small bead, and I'm going to pick up some of the glitter. I'm gonna add this to the tip of the nail. And we're going to blend this back. So it's kind of like a glitter ombre. I'm just going to grab a little more. Grab the small bead. And a little bit of glitter. I'm just going to blend this back. And remember to keep your beads small because you still have to encapsulate the flower in the end. And now we can pick out our flowers. So I want something to pop out. So I'm going to use this flower here. And we'll go with this blue in here. So while this is still wet, you can run your monomer over it if you need to. You're going to pick up your flowers and place them on the nail wherever you want. I like them around halfway of the nail. I think that's really pretty where it's at. And if you need to, you can grab a small bead of clear just to hold it in place. Okay, so we're gonna grab our second flower and we're gonna add that at the tip. I grabbed an Italian flower and I'm just gonna add this in here where I can. Okay, so once that's in place, I'm gonna come back with the iridescent glitter. I'm going to grab a very, very small bead and just a little bit of glitter and add some over the flowers just to give it some dimension. This is already coming together really beautifully. So we're going to go ahead and close this. We don't want this to spill anywhere. And now we're going to encapsulate this nail.
right guys so a way for you to tell that your nail is dry is if you tap on it and you hear this clicking sound so our nail is dry we're just going to perfect the shape and we're going for coffin And you want to do, you want to file a little on each side so it's not too, um, so it's not going one way or the other. So you'll file a little on this side and you'll keep alternating sides until you are satisfied with the shape that you want. And then you want the straight edge. So I am satisfied with the shape, so now we're just going to file Okay, so once you have filed it, you're going to go in and buff your nail. Okay, so you're going to buff your nail. This isn't wanting to stay in place, guys. Okay, so we're just gonna um, brush off the excess dust before applying our top coat. At this point, I would have my client wash her hands with water for me. IBD Intense Seal. And we're just gonna add this top coat. And already you can see the glitter popping through the flowers and this is just absolutely gorgeous we're gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds the lamp i'm using is a sun led no lamp i'm gonna see if i can find the link for it and add it in the description for you guys but i got this from amazon Okay, so our nail is done curing. I'm going to bring this up to you guys so you can get a better look. I hope you guys are able to see all the little detail and the glitter. That's a quick tutorial 
on how to encapsulate the glitters and the flowers from RCM Nail Bling. So don't forget to go follow them on Instagram and place your orders. Their glitters are really pretty and their flowers are beautiful as well. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you guys have anything you want me to do next, please let me know down below in the comments and I will do it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the nail tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next video.